guys, Mark from Wild Family Travel, back for another chat on YouTube to you all. Uh, so what's been going on this week? Well, not this week, but last week, I started a podcast, uh, really interesting, called Southern Summers and Northern Winters. It's a podcast that I've recorded the first episode with, with a really good friend of mine named Anders Jensen. Uh, only in today's technology can a guy sitting in small town Australia do a podcast with a guy sitting in Munich, Germany. So... Really good fun. Um, more than just a podcast, it's actually good for blokes to check in and have a chat with other blokes. Uh, as men, we don't often have that many friends who we sit around and talk to. A lot of our social outlets is normally through our wives. So it's been really good chatting to Anders the few weeks leading up to recording our first podcast. I met Anders. The story with Anders is I met Anders a long time ago. Uh, in the family travel blogging sphere, Anders was on Twitter and on YouTube in some groups and I touched base with him for the first time probably around 2015 and we went to Munich around 2017 and met Anders and his wife Alex and his son Anton and uh, spent a day in Munich with him showing us around. We went out for dinner at one of the beer houses in Munich, had a really good night and always stayed in touch with Anders. We went back to Germany again in 2019 and met up with Anders and his family again, went to his house for dinner, had some beers, really enjoyed the experience. And then a week later, we were going through Copenhagen Airport while Anders was flying into Copenhagen Airport and touched base with him again. Uh, I haven't really been back to Europe since then, went back once just really quickly for a wedding. So I haven't actually caught up with Anders in person for about five years now, but continued to chat with him online. So when he proposed the idea of starting a podcast a few weeks ago or a month ago or so now, I was all on board. I love chatting about travel and it's really good to chat with like-minded people about travel. And Anders has traveled a lot. Him and his family did long-term travel probably 10 years ago or so where they went Australia, New Zealand, US and places like that, chucked their, chucked their nine to five in and took off for a bit, which is what we exactly what we did in 2019 when we caught up with Anders in Munich. So if you've got time, I'll put the links in, call in and listen to the first episode of Southern Summers, Northern Winters. It's a podcast based on family travel, but really it's just two blokes sitting around having a yak about all things travel that we like, dislike, find frustrating, things like that. So so we had a bit of a mishap, recorded the first episode and I realized that my speaker settings were not up to tune. So my microphone wasn't recording well, the sound was coming in and out and being a little bit of a perfectionist at times, I decided that... That really didn't sound right. So we actually, two nights later, we sat down again and re-recorded the podcast. Uh, a lot of people have a real structured podcast where they have a lot of topics they want to talk about. We start off with one theme and we just flow on from there. You know, it can go off in all different directions about different subjects that come up. But generally, it's definitely all about travel. So luckily, I had bought a new speaker, a few, a new speaker, why well, I keep saying speaker, a new microphone a few months ago. So I used this thing here called the... Uh, the Blue Yeti, I think it's called, and it's from Logitech, so it seems to be really good. Chuck that in with my Anchor headphones, and I sit here, and we record it over Zoom. So we can obviously make it a video podcast if we want, but at this stage, we're just using an audio podcast. You can find Southern Summers and Northern Winters on Spotify, Apple, and a few other different platforms. If you want to tune in and have a look, I would love to get some comments from some of my followers here, or some of our followers that we travel alone. So yes, that's probably been the highlight of the last few weeks. Um, as far as blogging goes, still a little bit lost on that thing. I'm a bit, uh, I don't know, a bit maybe out of sorts, you would call it, with blogging at the moment. I'm trying to create new content, but there's such a big job going on with our main site, with Wild Family Travel, where we really need to nearly rewrite the whole thing with the way Google wants things these days. For a long time, we wrote... Uh, what I would call destination guides with, you know, lists of things to do in these places. But like I've said previously, I think Google tars that with the same brush as AI. So Google has demoted all our sites back to nearly nothing, uh, a traffic drop of around 80%. We've seen over the last six months, which doesn't bode well for creating a living online like we really want to. So feels like we're back to square one like we were six years ago when we started. But hey, if we don't try and fix it, we'll never know. And if we don't fix it, then we'll never leave here on our long-term travel plans that we've got. So big job ahead of us uh, for me and my wife to put in a lot of work and rewrite a lot of this stuff. Just rebuilding the front page, designing some new concepts that we can put on there, writing more personalized 
articles, like a lot of the articles we were writing were really just about the places and things you could do there without a great deal of referencing to ourselves. So to flip the lid a bit, going to start writing like three days or four days or two days in places where I just talk about what we actually did, what we seen, where we went, how we got around, all that sort of stuff, just to make it a bit more of a personalized feel because that's seemingly where Google's heading. They want to know what people actually think, it seems, these days because AI can produce generally lists and itineraries and things like that that anyone can pull off the internet. So Google wants them little nuggets of gold that only you can tell if you've been there. So that's the plan going forward is to produce content like that. So we'll see how we go, but stay tuned for that. But as always, check in on the We Travel Alone website. I'm trying to get an article out about every week at this stage to build content on there. Please call into Wild Family Travel and have a look. Uh, follow us on all our social channels. Just did a couple of TikToks in the last week on We Travel Alone, so that's out there for you to have a look at. But from now, I'll talk to you again soon.